to find is the center of my top. Just use my tape measure. This measure is about roughly three inches across. So I have a Sharpie here. I'm just going to mark the center of about one and a half inches. Just make a little dot. You could definitely eyeball this too. You don't even need the measuring tape. And then I'm going to take my pliers. And if you don't have pliers, you can use a screwdriver or anything else sharp and sturdy that you think would make the actual hole. And I'm gonna put it right where the mark is, hold it down firmly, take my hammer, give it a couple taps till it goes all the way through. There we go. And then I found the easiest way is to actually push it all the way down through and kind of twist it and keep on twisting it. And I just used basically the um, pliers to make the actual hole. When you start spinning it, it starts making a circle anyways. So that works out perfect. Now you just need to make it large enough for the um, dispenser nozzle to go all the way through. So you can kind of keep on checking. This has to go all the way through this part. So I got a little bit more to go. Okay, I think that might be good. Let's check it. Ah, perfect. See how it fits? And like I said, you don't have to worry about it being completely perfectly round because that's gonna cover it right up. And then what I'm gonna do actually is unscrew the cap and take out the little insert. And I'm just gonna bend the raw part of the metal down into the top. Just so I don't in the future cut myself for whatever reason. All right, before I actually put this together, I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to glue it to the edge of the top, like all the way around. So I'm just gonna measure out how much I need. Then take my E6000 glue and just put it along edge and press the ribbon on. Okay, so that's all the way on. And you can do this so many different ways. I've seen really cute ones with like twine wrapped around or you could even decorate the glass with um, rhinestones. We're gonna get to the glass in just a second. The next thing I'm gonna do is glue this part to that. So again, again taking my glue, I'm just gonna put it all the way around the edge. Okay, so that's on. Then I'm just gonna put it in there, press it down. That's just to secure it so you don't have to worry about it popping out all the time when you go to change your soap. So the next step is taking this and gluing it to the top. So I'm gonna take my glue, I'm going to put it again all the way around the edge. And this glue does dry clear, so you don't really have to worry about that. Put it in there, still holding the middle part. Press it down. Okay, so we're just gonna set this aside and let it dry a little bit. It'll, of course, be fully dry in like 24 hours. Then I'm gonna take some of my embellishments, my flower that I have here, um, and I'm going to decorate the jar now. So just put a little bit of dab of glue on the back. This jar actually has like a little spot, if you can see it, where it's smooth. So I'm going to put it right in the middle, press it down. So just let that sit. 
it's fairly sturdy on there. Okay, so all you gotta do now is fill up your jar with your soap of choice. I didn't get a colored one, but you could, um, you know, obviously get the colored soaps, which would look really pretty in these jars. I just chose to have the flower as my accent. Screw your top on. And there you go. You have a beautiful, really easy, simple, inexpensive soap dispenser.